Welcome back. For most kids, a new school year is about to begin. As we get back into our routines, now's the time for parents to look for the warning signs of a learning disability like dyslexia. And joining us tonight is Dr. Elizabeth Schnobrick, a psychologist with the Learning Center at Groves Academy in St. Louis Park, and she specializes in teaching children with learning disabilities. Dr. Schnobrick, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Good to, good to see you. And this is an important topic, especially this time of year. And let's just kind of start with talking about what dyslexia is. I think a lot of us just think it's a reading problem but it's not that simple right no that's it's very common a lot of people have a misunderstanding of what dyslexia is and we're beginning to realize that upwards of 20 percent of our population actually has reading difficulties like dyslexia dyslexia is more than just reversal of letters such as B and D it's an, a language problem people with dyslexia have difficulty understanding and learning and manipulating what we call speech sounds it's called phonetic awareness and there's a lot of labels and shame involved with dyslexia, as calling children lazy or unintelligent or even slow learners. And talk about some of those warning signs, doctor. They can actually pop up, I mean, as early as your, your kids start talking, right? Absolutely. You know, one of the warning signs is slow talking, um, being late to talk, as well as mispronouncing certain sounds and syllables, such as saying biscotti instead of spaghetti or saying things like animal instead of animal. And then as children go into the classroom, some other warning signs are difficulties with understanding their letters or letter sounds. They may have a hard time recalling certain words. So instead of saying table, they might say, you know, the place where we eat. As they continue in their academic career, you want to look for reading fluency, like how smooth can they read? Are they still choppy? Are they sounding out every word and syllable? Do they have a hard time with spelling? How is their overall academic performance? And why is it so common for a lot of these cases to go um, undiagnosed for kids? You know, that's a really good question. A lot of, like we talked about earlier, a lot of the misunderstanding is part of the problem. People think that it's something wrong with the child. It's a cognitive problem, but like I mentioned, it's actually a language problem. Kids with dyslexia are actually very intelligent. They have amazing gifts and strengths that get missed because they're so bogged down with some of their reading difficulties. They actually find ways to hide and cope. They use different strategies such as they might look for cues and pictures. They might memorize words. And a lot of our schools don't teach phonetic-based reading. So some of those warning signs we talked about get missed. So I know you're here um, partly to encourage parents, maybe uh, perhaps who want more information, to, to take your kid in for an assessment. But talk about what an assessment um, really entails and, and how folks can get answers. Absolutely. So at Groves Academy, we do a very comprehensive assessment procedure. We take each child that comes in as an individual. We look at their unique struggles and their unique difficulties. And then we try to really come up with some answers for the family. We look at the whole picture. We also look for things like anxiety or ADHD or other learning disorders that also can cause difficulties with that academic success. We spend around four to five hours with each child with a break for lunch. And when we're done, we write up a full written report that we give to the parents that has specific recommendations not just for the parents but also for the schools to help provide some academic success for that child. And bottom line, why is it so important to have an early diagnosis? Well, what we found is information is power, which is what I tell all of my families, is once we understand a child's unique learning profile, we can help to create that path to success. We can give them tools and resources, and we can create a program that helps them feel better in their school setting. The earlier we diagnose, the easier it is to remediate. We diagnose children as young as early elementary school. Wow. Well, it's a very important topic. Thank you, Dr. Schnobick, for being here to talk to us about it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And for more information on Groves Academy, just check out our website. Go to WCCO.com.